The scale of the destruction in Dagloban is almost unimaginable. Even now, almost one week after the typhoon, the streets are still lined with debris and dead bodies. If you move off the main drag that leads into town, many of the roads remain completely blocked by rubble, timber, corrugated iron, cars, lorries, shipping containers even, that have been upended or torn apart. San Jose, a large neighbourhood not far from the airport, appears to be one of the worst hit areas. City officials told me that as many as 2,000 residents from this community alone may have died. Among them was Mr. Rogelio Esperas, a local driver and father of four, who was killed last Friday while trying to save his daughters from the storm. His wife, Melissa, told me that her family had been watching television when the wall in their sitting room collapsed. Mr. Esperas managed to free his daughters from the debris, but was hit by a piece of falling concrete and was unable to escape. He subsequently drowned when seawater invaded the community. With the government almost entirely paralysed by the sheer scale of this disaster, nobody came to their assistance. Instead, Mr. Esperas' wife was forced to store his dead body inside a tiny mud cake toilet, just a few metres from where he had died. On Thursday afternoon, government corpse collectors finally arrived and carried his body out of that bathroom and placed it in one of the many open back trucks that are now being used to clear the streets of corpses. Once the bodies have been collected, they are placed in black body bags and taken to a mass grave on the edge of town. Those burials are expected to last for weeks. The day after I met Mr. Spedis' wife, I flew out of Tacloban on an American military plane that was packed with refugees who were fleeing the city. Thousands of people are now running away and many say they have no idea when they will be able or willing to return to this broken city. Mr. Spedis' wife is set to join that exodus. With no house and no husband, she plans to go to the capital to try and start again.